It's nobody's business what happens between me and my wife in my bedroom. But when you decide to bring what is supposed to remain in the privacy of your bedroom into public space, then public policy will apply to you for people who choose to have sex, men who choose to have sex with men. And so the government had to spend $200 million. We're dealing with getting enough beds for our women to give birth when, we, when they are pregnant. And we should now begin to divert those resources to stitch up the backsides of men who have chosen to go and have sex with men when they begin to have anal tears and anal what? The people who lose their identity have lost their nation. Ghana is not the 51st state of the United States. Tell the American people, you either do business with us on our terms or you can walk. American businesses that operate in Ghana are not in Ghana because of LGBTQ. They are in Ghana because they make a profit. If you think that because we are protecting our cultural values and saying no to LGBTQ, you want to lose $100 million in profit, pack up and go. Africa must begin to assert our rights. We, we are not puppets and stooges of the West. And it's just the sheer hypocrisy of America and the West. Carter buys about a billion dollars of, of military hardware every year from America. The punishment for, for homosexuality in Qatar is death. In Nigeria, the punishment in your law for same-sex marriage is 14 years imprisonment. The maximum in Ghana's law is just three years. Has Nigeria's economy collapsed? The American economy would not run and the Western economies would not run without African raw material. Why should Ghanaian cocoa and Nigerian cocoa be traded on the New York Stock Exchange and not on the Ghanaian Stock Exchange? I mean, a bank should not be threatening the customer and saying, I won't give you a loan if you don't do what I want. If I don't come to you for a loan, you don't, you don't, you don't turn a profit. The CDC says that homosexuals are 400% more likely to be suicidal. The, the, the young man who walked into a school in the United States three months ago and shot up 22 kids was transgender. And this all came from a mental disorder because of him having undergone uh, a gender change or gender reassignment when he was eight years old. Even on the African continent, which country has the highest crime rate? South Africa. Why? Because they've embraced homosexuality as one of the growing factors in that country. So com companies like DSTV, for example, will have to be careful about the kind of movies that they show in Ghana. The kind of content you show on TV must be censored. You cannot be, you cannot be a social media influencer and creating content that is, that is contrary to the laws of the land. The punishment for advocacy is the strictest punishment in the bill. It's, it's more, it's, it's, the punishment for advocacy is higher than the punishment for the act itself.